the pilot issue of the multiverse near the coming book. The protagonist was originally called Lado. Polygars should be associated with the real developers of metaphors. Will it continue? We are already working on it. We want to see how the public reacts. How different is the process of working? They are completely different. The comic book uh, has its own specificity of presenting the story. What response or reaction to the comic book was the most surprising? I have in my hands the pilot issue of the Multiverse Near the Coming book. And on the cover we see Lado, but the hero is not called Lado. In fact, it's Master Dao. And the story is very spectacular. So, it's about you or it's a legend? What inspired you to create this comic book? The comic book was offered to me by the people who know it. I found it interesting because I already had a vision that we have a multiverse in which our characters and stories will appear in various ways. Games, movies, books, etc. Comics do fit in. You have become the protagonist. How much of your own character and experience have you put into the main character? So much, so that the protagonist was originally called Lado. I changed the name of the main character, as well as many other characters, primarily because uh, not everyone agreed that we tell the world about them. Many of the details have also be been changed. So everything can be described as fiction. In addition, you need to be free in the lines of the plot, so as not to be tied to the real ladder. What prompted you to put yourself into this story? Was it a conscious choice from the beginning? Holigars should be associated with the real developers of metaphors and the Neo-Dao world. It's because we don't carry an abstract message. We have to fit the ideology by ourselves. These are the principles on which self-development is built. How did you manage to find the balance between reality and fiction? What aspects of your life or personality have you enhanced or changed for the story? There is no such uh, issue in the pilot comics. But in the further development of the story, uh, there will be enough uh, of a love line and relations with loved ones. Here we have the list to do with real personal life. The balance between reality and fiction is based on the fact that the reality context of the story can be too long. In order to keep it short but simple, sometimes the plot changes completely. They are already first readers. How do they perceive the character knowing that it's based on you? I want to find out soon, but we are waiting for an answer. The comic book just came out and we are in the middle of the roadmap event, episode 5, in parallel to the new releases. So I haven't even had a chance to ask about it. Will it continue? We are already working on it. We want to see how the public reacts to see if something needs to be corrected. Of course we plan to publish new comics, because the first one was just a pilot. This is your debut comic book, a new experience. How different is the process of working, for example, working on the comic book script than working on the movie script? <laughs> they are completely different. I couldn't handle it by myself without the help of specialists. The comic book uh, has its own specificity of presenting the story. What response or reaction to the comic book was the most surprising? We are waiting for feedback. So far we have only positive feedback from the leaders and their teams who came to the event. But these are the most committed participants. It is also important for us to have a broad audience. Well, looking forward for the next one. As for the sequel, you're gonna be there too. Me? In the comic? Of course your character will be there. But 
it's a secret. We will reveal our secrets step by step and we have many secrets for you.